Hi, my love, beautiful souls. It's Mystic Rose 1111. I'm back with the truth, bringing dark into light. This is a timeless read. So when you guide it to it, there's truth, clarity, confirmation, message you're looking for. You may be also guided to my channel with my soul missions, waking with a higher self, higher conscious, up to the 5D. Please take what resonates and leave what does not fit for somebody else. The collective reading, not a purse reading. Collective reading, not a purse reading. Thank you to everyone liking, sharing, subscribing to my channel. Thank you, thank you so much, guys. I love you. I would not be where I'm at if it's not for you guys and for the most high. So thank you so much. If you're new, hit the like button, share, subscribe, hit the bell button to be notified. Also, thank you to everyone that's make, uh, donating. Um, super thanks, purchasing products from my store and booking rings with me. Thank you, thank you so much, guys. I love you. I would not be where I'm at. It's not for you guys for the most high, so thank you again. Okay, if you're new, hit the like button, share, subscribe, hit the bell button to be notified. Also, um, you can check out my Etsy store, Dream Mystical. And if you want to join the True Seeking members, it's $3.99 per month. The bonus you get with that is one free question. Okay, guys, the um, message I had is your story is going to be wrote, okay? Your story is going to be told, okay, told. Your story is going to be told, okay, some kind of collaboration. There's a significant story um, or a situation, experience that you went through, and you may not be the one that's able to talk about it or, like, um, write it, um, but there is going to be somebody coming in to collaborate, to possibly want to write with you um, to tell your story, okay? Because you have a very, very important story to share with the world, um, with the community, about your experiences, about what you went through, about your childhood trauma, about, you know, relationships, addictions, uh, recovery, it could be trafficking, whatever it is, your story is going to be told, okay? It's going to be told. Um, it's going to be wrote, okay? There's going to be people that's going to hear your story, your testimony. And it, it's going to, I don't know what it's called, best time seller. It, it, it's going to be a best time seller. Somebody's going to have a book that's like best time seller, like Britney Spears' book, how she told uh, had a biography about her life. Best time seller, okay? It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be raw, authentic. Um, people are going to resonate with it. They're going to relate to it. They're going to they're gonna feel connected to it, okay? That's a water, I'm drinking water. They're going to feel a strong connection, okay? They're going to feel... Like, they're not alone in the world. So, this story that's going to be told, um, there's people that have um, experienced things like you or um, has been afraid to talk about it. And you're one of the one of the people, one of the few people that are ready to talk about it and ready to um, share your experience and share your story. Um, it, this is a great way to, when you share your story, you tell your story, it's a great way for shadow work, okay? Because you're, um, you're digging up that, um, trauma and you're healing it, okay? You're, you're working through it. You're not, you're not repressing it. You're not, um holding it all in and stuff like that. I remember when one reason why I've been able to heal so fast and the one reason why I've been able to move uh, along on my journey is because I've, I don't usually repress a lot of things. There's some little things I do repress, but anything that really truly happened about me that happened to me, I've always been truthful about it. I've always talked about it. People say I have a big mouth, okay? People say I have a big mouth. People say I have a loud mouth. I talk fast. I talk loud. Um, they say I um, should shut up because I talk the truth and um, I tell too much stuff that I need to be quiet about things, like trying to censor me, you know? Shut me up. Um, really try to censor me. Um, cancel me, whatever. Um, but that's me speaking my truth, okay? That's me um, not able to. That's one reason why I have not hold, held so much trauma inside and held, held so much hate, and um, I'm able to forgive myself is because I talk about my, my situations. I talk about my experiences. And it's to you guys. It's to my my family, for friends. What's nice is by me telling my experiences and my um, uh, story to you guys is the fact that um, you guys can relate. And you guys are not as much. There are judgmental people. There are trolls out there. But family members judges a lot. Okay. Family members look down on you. Family members, um, you know, they, they, they make you feel uncomfortable sometimes. And so this is what I'm hearing is like, you're going to be telling your story or somebody's going to be telling your story, collaborating with you, and you're not going to feel afraid. Okay. You're not going to, um, feel there. You will have, okay. If you're telling your story and it's getting published into a book or whatever it is, there is going to be judgment. Okay. There are people out there that are going to um, judge and stuff. And there's going to be trolls out there. And there's going to be haters and stuff and say, wow, that didn't really happen. That's a lie, you know, or, um, she's crazy or he's crazy or, you know, that stuff is unbelievable. It's, you know, it, it didn't happen. It couldn't happen. Okay. But it did. And it's your story. Okay. It's your story. And so your, your story is going to be told. Okay. It's going to go, it's going to go viral. It could be go viral on social media. Um, but like I said, I'm, I'm hearing bestseller book. Okay. Best time seller book, whatever, however it is. Um, I'm hearing like, it's going to have like a gold, um, circle on it, you know, the stamp or whatever it is, um, on, on the book. Okay, if it, if it's not a, a hardcover book, it could be a audio book. 
as well, an audiobook. But it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Okay, Holy Spirit, angels, and the high point light and the most high. Please give me crack and equity for the collective about them telling the story. Some of the stories will be told. There were people that were um, secretly hiding behind you and like um, causing conflicts, okay? The challenges that you had. Okay, an empress, mother, divine feminine energy, temperance, Sagittarius, that's Virgo, and um, Sagittarius, patience, okay? Being balanced out, waiting for the right moment, okay? Waiting for right, right connection as well um, for this to happen. Bringing balance. But there was somebody that had a hidden agenda, okay? There was somebody that um, was secretly. So be careful, too, um, who you connect with as well. Because um, making sure that if you are going to be um, doing this, that there's uh, agreements. I'm hearing non disclosure agreements. I'm hearing some kind of agreement. Make sure that it's in fine print, okay? Whatever um, is being said, that you look over the fine details, okay? And that um, it's, it's being wrote the right way that you want it to be wrote, okay? Or told, okay? How you want to be told. It could be a thing where you have a social media and you're you're putting readings out or you're talking about your life story and um, somebody comes along your, your channel and they want to work with you and instead of just putting it on YouTube or social media, they want to take bits and pieces of your story that you've put on your channel and write it into a book, okay? So you don't have to repeat it all. They can just, you know, something about like watching your channel and telling you, going in to watching your videos and writing it out. Psychedelics too. I'm hearing some about psychedelics. Someone could be microdosing because I'm like seeing the mushrooms here. Okay, somebody may be using um, marijuana or mushrooms for um, clearer knowledge, clearer guidance and stuff too. Psychedelics, ayahuasca, self discovery, hermit. Okay, so we have Virgo and then we have the devil too. So, like, there could have been a dark side. Wow, okay, these are all major kanas. Okay, we have the sun. Okay, so. Permit, self-discovery, okay, finding who you are, okay, going within, um, meditating. Um, this is also could be some kind of um, isolation or solitude to figure out what you want, what you need, okay, and looking into things. This could be also being like spiritual discovering of things as well. Okay, that's another Virgo, strong Virgo here. Somebody could be at home or hermit. Okay, then we have the devil. Devil is a Capricorn. There's a shadow side, okay, a dark side that somebody has healed. Somebody has worked through their dark side. Capricorn or somebody has broke free from like some greed, power, bondage, okay, from the devil. Your story could be um, told because, you know, you you broke free. You were able to break free from the demons, from the devil. And the sun, enlightenment, okay, happiness, joy, Leo. So five major arcanas and the five is change, travel. Sunflowers are here. There's a clock. Tea time. Sitting down, like right here, sitting down, communicating, maybe having to travel to meet up. Two females here, two females here. Okay, it could be two females, it could be masculines too. Alice and, um, who was the other person? I can't even think of the names. Somebody could be telling a story about how they got out of the matrix, out of being programmed, out of being conditioned, breaking free from their awakening. A lot more people are telling about their spiritual awakening because everyone has a different kind of spiritual awakening, okay? Ace of Pentacles, trusting. There's going to be prosperity out of this too, some kind of money. Details, okay? Finer details. Information. There's that seven of wands, okay? Like, yeah, over these challenges. There's been a lot of challenges you've overcame. A lot of struggles. Fighting with the demons. Fighting with the devil. To overcome this negative energy. Clarity, truth. So we have Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. So that's 1-1. One, one. Okay, alignment. And truth, clarity. Partnership. Connections. Justice. Karma. This book may bring justice.
The lovers. Okay, so yeah, there's a strong connection. Lovers. Getting away. Being stuck. You were stuck. Somebody was stuck in a situation. Feeling trapped. Feeling like they couldn't move. As I said, different career path. Changing lifestyles. Someone didn't know what way to go, okay? And there could be a lot of juggling too. Making sure you stay balanced. Between the temperance with balance and then two of pentacles is also balanced, okay? Making sure you stay balanced, okay? There is a victory. A win. Win-win situation. I'm hearing a win-win situation, okay? Rewards. Three of Wands, foreseeing something, knowing it's going to happen, something's coming in. Okay, we're just waiting for the right moment, right time. Ace of Wands, eight, one, one, one. Creating things, making things happen. My Ace of Wands, like I always say, my Ace of Wands is always making something happen. My magical wand, okay? You're able to create something. Something's being manifested as well, okay? And then with one, one, one is a clean slate, new beginnings, fresh start, okay? Um, new partnership as well. I'm even giving each other a boost. Tower. Something's changing. Okay, some kind of change is going to happen. You took back your power. You called back your power. You call your back your power from these demonic people, from these psychic vampires, energy vampires, uh, Lower frequency vibrations. They may be crying now over spilled milk, okay? These people may be depressed because you took back your power. You called it back. Ace cup. Wow, we have all the aces coming out. Ace cups overfilling, okay? Intuition. Spiritual guidance. Knowing what you want to do. Having your spiritual guides, wow, okay, yeah, page of cups, and then we have the higher fent, okay, this is, yeah, the indetermined, okay, this is somebody that, like I said, this is somebody who is um, determined to get what they want to get done, and they have a spiritual connection as well, they're very, very wise, and going to be successful, there's that travel card as well. A wise teacher. There's a lot of things happening. A lot of things, okay? With this too, someone could have more... Uh, there's this, there could be collaboration that's going to bring some kind of balance out. Like, so somebody can, like, okay, if, like I said, sometimes telling a story or whatever. Someone could be a writer and somebody can, be, like, tell the story. But um, it's like... Whatever it is, it's something, somebody's missing something, and the other person missing something, but it's going to balance it out. It's going to equal it out. What you don't have, the other person has. That's going to help. That's going to bring a change as well with the tower. It's going to bring a change. It's going to be nationally known. Okay, so nationally known. Worldwide known. It's because you know what you want. Okay? It's because you know what you want. You are using transmissions from the spiritual realm, okay, from the extraterrestrials, okay, the higher beings, the angels, the ancestors, um, Syrians, Lyrians, okay, you're receiving transmissions, okay, ch channeling messages, information being given to you, okay, you could be a service to others as well, telepathic messages, 
mother father healing and that's something you could have done is mother father healing this transmission is going to come in fast as well okay transmission is going to come in fast You're carrying a lot of downloads, a lot of messages. Receiving codes. Getting out of the mind, getting out of the matrix, drop overthinking answers within inner journey, surrender, activation, empower yourself, okay? These telepath messages are coming from extraterrestrial, as I said, extraterrestrials too. Okay, visions, vivid dreams, being um guided, mysticism. Okay. Service to others is helping others. Number seven is God's number as well. Okay. You know, kindness, um, serving, giving, re re rewards, heart opening, expansion, helping others, cure charity. As I said, give and take. Okay. One person may not have something, but the other person has it, and it's going to um, give and take. Okay. It's going to balance it out. Ancestor healing, mother, father clearing, coming together, relief, understanding, clarity, family time, and bloodline. Okay. That's why your story is going to be told because you're clearing. Um, Generation curses, you're clearing um, um, hexes and stuff like that, okay? You're doing a lot of answers, still healing. And that could be in your book, okay? Somebody could be telling about gaslighting, being manipulated by other people. Pleadians, okay? Pleadians are sending transmissions to you. The Lyrians are sending transmissions to you. Missions possible. You are going to succeed in everything you do. Okay, you're going to succeed in everything you do. Stargate initiation. Portals, power spot, get outdoors. Okay, portals are opening up for you. You may be talking about portals. And the new timeline. Positive self-talk, advancement, opportunity, leadership. Your stories can help other people. It's going to be inspiration. Doors opening for other people as well. Okay. Doors opening for others on this journey. Books. Okay. That's another thing. When you read books, it's a portal and you connect. So your, like I said, your story can be told. Your story is going to be wrote into a book. Okay. And by it's being told and it wrote into a book, it's going to open a portal for these individuals who's going to read your book. And they're going to be able to step into new timelines. They're going to feel connected. They're going to awaken. They're going to ascend. They're going to heal. They're going to grow. They're going to see that they're not alone. There's a master plan set in place for you. Master plan set in place for you. Healing is happening. You're not broken. Trust the process. It's safe to soften. See, trusting the process as well. Rose without thorns. You have a right to your joy, peace, sweetness of life. This is going to bring some joy. It's going to bring joy to others as well. Rapture, sensual, sen sensuality, love, devotion, romance, ecstasy, and pleasure. The rapture, okay, the great rapture is happening. Let's see something with this rapture. Flora, or okay, I'm gonna, I want to see this. Flora is an ancient Roman goddess of spring and flowers. In the myth, she was struck by Cupid's arrow and overwhelmed by love and completely breathless. In a moment of rapture, she called for arrows. However, the sound rose came out of her mouth instead. So rose became another word for arrows. Oh, I didn't know that, you guys. Rose is arrows. And it has also become the symbol for love, beauty, and passion. Read another version of your story about Flora naming the rose on page 18. Okay. Many parts. 
partitional religions have placed a shameful cloak around sensuality, sex, pleasure, ecstasy, rapture, and sexuality. One of the most natural, pleasurable parts of life has become conditional and judged. The rose wants us to heal from this and remember that pleasure, sensuality, sexual preference, and expression of desire can be some of the most scared, mir miraculous things about being a human on earth. This card comes with a message about receiving and giving love and pleasure. Flora wants you to know that your sensuality, your passion, and your sexuality, no matter how you identify, are sacred and holy. She wants you to connect with your sensual na true, true nature and celebrate this in all people. My sensuality is sacred and holy. Other people's sensuality is sacred and holy. I open myself up to express and receive love in every way. Feels safe and good to me. I release painful programming and experiences and return to love. Somebody could have been sexually assaulted or something and you're telling your story. Okay. Or like I said, something about trafficking. There's something significant that like, um, you, some kind of sex healing. Okay. Like healing that, um, sex trauma. Okay. I, I'm hearing, yeah, somebody could be telling a story about this, about, you know, um, being assaulted, raped, um, molested, trafficked, whatever, being a, um, prostitute, whatever. Somebody could be telling a story about that. Okay. Because it is sacred. There's a, there's a message behind that. Okay. And the healing is happening. And by telling the story, it's healing. Okay? By telling the story, it's also healing. It's a healing process. What else, Spirit? What else? For uncord relations, let it... Let it go. Forgiveness is freedom. So let go of old relationships, okay? Letting, letting go. So maybe you're also writing about or the stories we told about how you let go, how you move forward, how you woke in, how you uh, seen the, the devils in people, the negative energies in people. Create your own vision. Do what makes your heart sing. You are being nudged forward. So you're being nudged forward to write the story or um, tell your story. It's going to be hard. I'm hearing it could be hard at first, okay? But it, the flow will come, Okay. Enter the magic, live in the now, seize the moment. This is accessing your chakras. Okay, so people need to do others, uh, individuals doing chakras. So something about letting you know about chakras. How they heal their chakras. How they balance them out. How they found the magical doorway to heaven. Heaven on earth. Somebody's also gonna be writing about how um they can see through demons, okay? They can see through bullshit. Manip manipulation. Lies. Somebody could be also telling their story about how they um connected with God, Source Creator. Okay, what else, Spirit? What else? Someone who wronged you wants to apologize now. <laughs> Maybe your story's being told and now they want to apologize because they said that you told the story. They're embarrassed. Haters are going to hate someone is jealous of you. Okay. I just booked out. They're, they're going to be haters. They're already hating before. They're going to hate you afterwards too. Spirit's saying that's why. Spirit had to get you strong enough. Okay. So I'm going to get you strong enough. Okay. Someone may wish you harm or somebody in the past wished you harm. You could be talking about that. Your past has been forgiven by God. You are natural healing capabilities, healer, Reiki, healing, hands, healing, and words, okay? So you're healing. Be yourself. You'll be liked for your authenticity. You will. Okay, you will. Respect. Your story was full of drama. Okay, that's what people are going to like. Okay, that's why. People are going to like it because there was there's going to be drama in it. Okay, because you, you, your life was full of drama. 
okay, I'm hearing drama, chaos, um, all this, this stuff that people love to feed off, eat, and they eat it up alive. But what's going to happen is then it, they're going to, it's gonna, okay, so I'm hearing something like your story's going to be told and it's, it's going to be full of drama, but then towards the end, like, they're going to see it's like a healing process too. They're going to be, people are going to be able to start telling their story and start healing and growing and relating and resonating with it, okay? I'm not feeling alone. So it may be put like a, like a drama book, like I don't know how they, they put the, whatever genre whatever it could be like put as a john uh a biography or like a drama book or whatever but it's going to also capacity be healing and also like awakening and like um empowerment okay it could be empowerment too R rising angel awakening mended heart strength and after a breakup see this could have been over a breakup or a situation that you're really close with okay so awakening Bear authority, loyalty, and maternal love. Okay, you could be like a mama bear. Okay, you protect what's what's most important to you. You protect. Dog, support, friendship. Like I said, connection, love. Okay, you went through a painful ending, coffin, um, trouble in a relationship. Okay, that could be a good story. You, you could be tell, telling your story. You guys, I'm getting like um, a story. Like I haven't read it, but I was going to read it. It's about like um, being... Um, a dope dealer's uh, wife, okay, being a dope dealer's wife, like, those stories, those stories, are, those books are based on true stories, okay, addiction of meth, like, how, how, like, you went, like, there's somebody to be telling a story about how they went through addiction of meth and how they got clean and sober, how they broke free from bondage, greed, um, from all these addictions, okay, from being gaslighted, catfished, bullied, ma manipulated, betrayed, It's not going to be overnight either, you guys. This is a process, you guys. I don't know. I have never wrote a book. I do freehand writing where I just start writing things what come to my head. Um, but doesn't a lot of writers have like they take a while? It doesn't. It, just, it doesn't just come overnight. It takes a while. Somebody could have a writer's block too. Okay, somebody that could be some. There could be a hater that's trying to make you have a writer's block because of the fact they don't want your story to come out. Okay, they don't want your story to come out. This is too many. Okay, but we'll take the sweet escape, transformation, reincarnation, emerging. You dealt with some, um, sneaky people, okay? Somebody dealt with some sneaky people, people. Some stuff that, like I said, some stuff that people may not believe that was, like, really, really raw, hurtful. Um, could have been telling a story about being an illusion as well. Being stuck in illusion. Breaking free from the illusion. You start from bottom, you work your way back up top. You're glowing all over, shining bright. People may think it's like an urban legend. Like when they read your story, be like, whoa, really? No, this is a legend. This is an urban legend. But it's true. You can be a psychic investigator. Story could be a whistleblower. Okay, you could be a whistleblower in your in your book or this book. You could be um, giving out secrets. The truth. Somebody is Andromedian. Okay, from the 12th dimension. 12th dimension. Andromedian, loving, gentle, telepathic race, galaxy known to M31. Um, pure energy, almost childlike. Around 800,000 Andromedian souls exist on Earth. Tiny compared to other races. Quiet warriors, important roles, attracting little to no attention, only to serve purpose known to them. When you are Andromedian, um, access to Andromedian, the 12th dimension, um, you know a purpose that no one else will know. Okay, that you do not tell anybody your purpose. Okay, there's a purpose that you know they don't share with anybody else. Okay, you just do it. Okay, you just do it. Beautiful soul. Hollywood could be involved. You are original. Okay. Your book is not going to be like anybody else or your story is not like anybody else. Crystal Child, 1980s to late 1990s. They feel homesick, highly empathetic, deeply spiritual, close connection to Mother Earth Gaia healers. Um, can feel and heal at the same time. They could be Reiki healers, um, crystal witches. Here to help people. Okay. 
Hey, what else, Barrett? What else? Someone needs to spend a little bit of money. You guys spend a little bit of money to make money. So if you're like starting a business or you're in this book, you may have to spend a little bit of money to make money. Okay, you could be telling a story about you went through a dark night of soul. These are hard to see. Went through a dark night of soul. Somebody is sending evil eye at you. Okay. How to break free from that. Maybe you know how to break free. Any evil eye sent to me, send back to source or creator. Any evil eye sent back to sender. Ten times fold. No weapon form against me shall prosper. So you're going to be telling a story about your trauma. Okay, how you had to guard yourself and then how you had to heal. Someone could be telling the story about the underworld. Lower dimensions, what they went through. How they broke free from hell. How they got out of hell. How they raised their vibration, their frequency. Could be a blogger. The world needs your unique gifts. Don't leave them still inside of you. So there's something you, um, teachable, okay? Teachable. You could be an earth sign. Adaptable, reliable, survival. Thank you. And a fire sign. Warrior, passionate, fearless. Okay. Getting the strength and courage to tell your story. Shadow self. Okay. This is a shadow self. This is working through um your darkness. Okay. Um, but somebody else I'm hearing like in the past has been like projecting their energy on you in denial, shame. Okay. So this came out. Um. Somebody you dealt with is in denial, okay? They're not working on their shadow self. But this is something you work through. And you're going to be able to help people on their shadow self. Like the shadow work, okay? Um, again, somebody's in denial, projecting shame. This could have been you in the past. But I'm hearing like somebody that, um, somebody that hurt you. Galactic Federation, collaborations, meetings, and community. Somebody's hiding, to their, hiding from their shadow, okay? Hiding from their... Their, their self. This could have been you in the past as well. Afraid. Okay. But God's giving you the courage to come forward. Giving you the strength. Okay, I gotta count these. How many I have here? Okay, this one's come out. These want to come out. Okay, I'm gonna have to count those. Those want to come out. Okay. Let's count them when we're done. I'll put them out like that. Okay. So we have Mina. Mina. Alaska. Ferry. Someone could be taking a ferry. When I think of ferry, um, I'm thinking like going to Cat uh, California, going to Catalina. I went on a ferry before. or took a ferry to a, like a little island, Catalina. Um, so somebody could go on a ferry. This also could mean like, you know, people call people ferries too, but I'm getting more somebody taking a ferry, okay? Penske. Okay, because somebody could be gay too. Okay, somebody could be bisexual gay. Sony or Sonny. DeMilo. Number six is balance, family, finances. Focusing on a domestic life. Um, finding a balance with your life, Okay. Finding your spirituality. Malik. Vikings. Somebody could come from Vikings time or Minnesota Vikings, whatever. Um, I'm hearing watching the Vikings, but also Norse mythology, the Vikings. Okay. I'm also hearing Scandinavian. One lane. I don't know why this came out, but this could be somebody's situation. Somebody could have been dealing with ATF, alcohol, tobacco, firearms. Okay, they could have been in trouble. They could have been in a situation. Somebody can, there's kind of shooting as well. Okay, some kind of shooting. 
someone loves pop music, R&B music, Peace Rock, Terry, Darcy, Stink and Shrimp, Snowmobile, someone likes snowmobiling, a lawyer, somebody may need to get a lawyer as well or is a lawyer, Madison, China, Jared, Gopher, Calabasas, Canabera, Canabera, Durham, Daniel, Tyler, Raul, Cowboys getting pictures, Cowboys getting pictures getting something or something, Carrie Underwood, Lightning Thunder, Pablo, Ramos, Wilmar, Ju Judicial System, Psychiatrist, A Positive Blood Type, Boss Pow, Jameson, February, something in February, Independence and Fresh Start, 1717, may be on the path to achieve goals, some, some, Soul mission to complete, sh share part of your soul with someone else. Okay, share part of your soul. So we have five, ten, fifteen, twenty-one cards, you guys. There's twenty-one cards here. Okay. Somebody's afraid to tell this too. Like I said, somebody's afraid. Okay. Just heard that again. You are afraid, but you're getting the courage, the strength to tell this now. You're not living in fear anymore. They try to keep you in fear. Let's pull this out. You guys check out my Etsy store. Fifteen percent off for shipping and handling. New friendship. Make decisions that makes you happy. Making plans on assumptions can lead to disappointment. So don't make plans on assumption, okay? Could have been something else. Meditate. And there's some kind of unfinished business as well. Okay, so maybe that's why. Maybe this story you have to write. Um, release old memories. That could be releasing old memories. That's a way to healing, okay? You guys, people, um, when I started going to my awakening, they told me to start journaling, writing. It, it's a healing process, okay? Healing, writing, journaling. Writing your thoughts. Writing the things that you're hearing and feeling. Letting it out. Let's pull this out. Let go of the past. This is one way to let go of the past I'm hearing. Because you're going to transform. Confidence. Have confidence too. Okay, if you don't believe in yourself, it's not going to go nowhere. You have to believe in yourself. You have to have confidence in yourself. And personal alchemy. Okay? Turning negative things into positive things. Like I said, the book can sound negative. It can be sounding really, really raw and hurtful. Like, um, like a negative you know, situation, but you're turning that negative situation into a positive situation. So you're, it's an alchemist, it's bringing something negative into a positive thing. Okay. Taking lead into gold. Okay. Um, taking dark into light, taking negativity and positivity. Okay. Wow. Spare told me about some of these. It's okay to be great. That fell right out. And this one, let go, let God in. You have a high, higher, higher calling and purpose than you ever know. God needs you to do this for his work on earth. Okay? You have a higher calling, 
higher purpose. God needs to do your work on earth. You are the future of heaven on earth. God is moving mountains for you. Open your heart and listen. Your soul tribe and spirit guides are teaching and guiding you. Angels are always with you. Always. Time to start that YouTube channel. So if you haven't started it, it's time to start that YouTube channel. Be strong. You're protected and highly loved. Do what you love to do. I've read a lot of those. I don't know. Spirit just told me to pull them out. They're positive cards. So Spirit said pull them out. Eighty-three. Encouragement, support, love is coming towards you. Don't give up. Unconditional love. Unconditional love. You guys, I do have bracelets in my um my Etsy store too that will help with um channeling um information and also writing stories as well. Okay, I do have um many many bracelets in there. I think it's Paradoite will help with that. My all my carnelians. You guys, my carnelian ones will help with that. Um. I have my lateral and carnelian will help with that. My blue aquarium and carnelian that will help. Fire agate will also help with channeling and like writing that story, being very creative. Tiger's eye usually helps as well. Okay. Um, fire agate. So this fire, fire agate evil eye will keep away negative energies too. But that this will help. These will help with um, writing that story, getting that channeling creative idea. Okay. The fire agate, the carnelian and stuff like that will help. There's other bracelets too. My bracelets in my shop do tell um, what they they are good for, used for. So check that out, you guys. Okay, check that out. Let's get a crystal card quick. Angelite, spiritual and religious community. Join with like-minded people for friendships and increase spiritual growth. That's where you're gonna find something that's gonna help you, assist you. Collaborate. Aries, Scorpio, Pi. Oops, I said Pisces. I was going to say Pisces, so, but it's not Pisces. Scorpio, Aries, Aquarius, and number seven. God's number again. And we'll do it one more time because I don't have my fourth dice. And Scorpio. And Cancer. My candle's been burning really low, you guys. Cancer. Cherish lost the green one. She knows that she lost the green one. I can't find it. Don't worry, guys. Who knows? I love you guys. Love, peace, light, and namaste.